So you just finished a site survey to determine a system quote. The only problem is the client has an extra area where they want distributed audio. The question is now, where do you start? Do you look at the cost, the size, maybe based on performance, or maybe even go off wiring considerations? These are fairly common questions, and given the amount of options that are available on the market, the goal of this video is to help you understand the pros and cons of the two different types of audio systems you can choose from, 8 ohm or 70 volt. Let's say the coverage area is small to medium size, like a secondary room or a small outside area. And the client likes to throw parties, so the system really needs to pump. Well, this makes for a great use case scenario for 8 ohm systems, as most of you are familiar with. Now, first and foremost, the biggest pro to 8 ohms is the sound quality, as you get a full range of 2020 sound and a stereo setup ensures accurate reproduction of the recorded material. And there's plenty of flexibility in both the speakers available as well as the amp to power them. You can use a dedicated high power amp, an AVR, or even zone 2 off that AVR. However, bigger systems require more speakers for coverage, so wiring costs can add up pretty quickly because with an 8 ohm system, each speaker requires a dedicated wire run from the amp. Now, depending on the speaker's power handling capability and location from the amp, the wire gauge and length of run are important. And while stereo is a pro for 8 ohm systems, due to the separated nature of vocals and instrumentals, a listener may experience unbalanced sound if they're closer to one speaker than another. Now on the other hand, let's say you're dealing with a much bigger area, and in this case, the client simply wants background music and isn't as concerned about audio quality to cover this expansive area, such as in an office complex, a restaurant, or maybe a huge outdoor area. In this case, 70 volt application is a perfect choice because you can literally attach hundreds of speakers on to a single amplifier, reducing your costs. Another advantage is the wiring, and this is twofold. Due to the higher voltage, longer wire runs can be achieved over a thinner gauge. The second part is since 70 volt can be run in series or by daisy chain, the entire installation is much simpler. Additionally, with built in tap settings, you can adjust the speaker's power level by adjusting the tap setting at each speaker. Also, you could put a volume control anywhere in the chain to attenuate the rest of the speakers downstream. Some of the disadvantages of 70 volt are, well, you don't get the full 2020 range of sound, meaning you don't get the same audio performance as you would with an 8 ohm system. Plus, your choices are limited in powering your speakers as a dedicated 70 volt amp is required. Now, once you decide on which approach you want to take, the next step is installation. Please see our additional videos that cover design considerations and wiring configurations for both 8 ohm and 70 volt systems. We hope this video helps. We thank you very much for buying with SnapAV, and as always, happy installing.